So how is it going, Dank Division? Danked in here, and it's time that we talk about yet another buy in the gaming industry. So as we're already well aware, Microsoft ended up buying Activision. We also find out that Take Twos happened to buy, oh, I don't know, Zynga. But today, I did not see this coming. This completely blindsided the game community. <laughs> Sony, as in, you know, PlayStation, Sony Interactive Entertainment, decided to buy Bungie for $3.6 billion. Now, for those of you who don't know who Bungie is, let, let me refresh your memory just a little bit. These are the people behind the multiplayer shooters Destiny, but better yet, they are the ones behind the original Halo games. Let's put it this way. They were developing the Halo games up until 2010. They were originally acquired by Microsoft in around 2000 and finally left the company around 2007-ish. Uh, so while smaller than both uh, Take-Two's acquisition as well as Microsoft's huge fucking acquisition, Sony at least has agreed to buy this company that, well, let's put it this way, helped launch Microsoft's first Xbox. So, this makes the third video game deal that's been announced in this month alone. And today, just from that buy alone, Sony shares after taking a tank when Activision was bought out have gone up about 4.5% for the day as of about 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, it's already been noted that Bungie will continue to operate independently with Sony. Now, what does this mean? This means that the developer's most recent hits, such as Destiny 2, will continue to be offered on multiple platforms. The Halo franchise, as we already know, has been developed by Microsoft's nice little 343 industry since 2011. Its latest game, of course, Halo Infinite, launching on Xbox and Windows, has continued to pretty much be a major success, but had no involvement from this company. Now, keep this in mind. Bungie has pretty much created games that have revolutionized the gaming industry and is now in the back pocket of Sony. It's also worth questioning, with all these other major companies that are out there, EA, Ubisoft, uh, Rockstar, please, someone buy Rockstar and get us some fucking Red Dead Online content. I don't care who buys it at this point. It's worth questioning who's going to buy what, and why does it almost feel like we're in a really shitty game of Monopoly where the players are going to have to sit here and wait and see if we're going to all of a sudden start to see exclusives start popping here, there, and everywhere. So in the comment section, I want to see what you guys think about this latest acquisition from Sony. I also want to hear your thoughts. What are your whole thoughts on all the major companies pretty much buying each other out at this point? And whether or not you think you already know what the next buy is going to be. If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Of course, as always, drop a comment because I love the conversations I have with all of you. Don't forget to click that like button. And of course, one last thing. We have finally opened up the Discord server. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description down below because I want to keep the conversations going long after the recording session is done. And everyone out there, you guys have a wonderful day, night, whatever you're doing. Do it wholeheartedly. And of course, as always, this is Dank Dan, signing off. Get them to hit that subscribe button, Dank. It's the only way we can figure out the numbers. What do the numbers mean, Dank? We're wasting valuable time.